steel jack, we're going to start in a very similar position that we do for the jumping jack. The feet are going to be hip width apart, but this time instead of having our arms down to our sides, our arms are going to be out in front of us, extended at shoulder height. The palms are going to be open and the thumbs are going to be up. As we move in and out with the feet, we're also going to move in and out with the arms, but keeping them at shoulder height. So instead of bringing them overhead like we do with the jumping jack, we're going to keep them at shoulder height. As you're doing this and we extend the arms, we're going to pull the shoulder blades together, kind of open up the chest. You might even feel a little bit of a stretch right here as well in the front of the shoulder. Moving explosively, we're not trying to hyperextend and pull too far back with the shoulders either. As you come to the front, you can even clap the hands. It's not, it's not mandatory, but bring them all the way to the front, at least, at least to the front of the chest. And here's how it looks. Feet are moving in and out at the same time. You're going to stand the balls of the feet, keep the arms at shoulder height, and pull the shoulder blades back with each rep. Just like with our jumping jacks, performing anywhere from 10 to 15 reps at a time, two to three sets within the warm-up is going to be a great uh, way to organize it into your warm-up, probably in between some sets of pogo jumps, which you can also find here in our exercise library. That's how you do a seal jack.